Well, it's all packing, packing, packing at the moment, which is a good thing, obviously, because sales are going well. Um, yeah, welcome back to the channel. And here we have a mummified Playmobil person. One of the large ones, a princess. I'll do a quick photo of it now. And what I've done with this is I've just wrapped the figure in um, packing paper. This, let me get some. I have this packing paper down here, just very thin. I normally use it for clothes and shoes. But just put that around the figure. Then I've um, newspaper all around it. So that gives a good protection layer and then sealed it all in big bubble wrap. And um, the box is the main thing. I'm gonna use this rather big box, but I'm gonna have to kind of cut it in half and this will be the sides and I'll double up on the sides. So I've got some cutting and fixing to do when I've done that. I'll uh, I'll show you. Okay, that's that done. It wasn't that easy. I had to kind of redo all the flaps and get the um, figure quite central, so that they, you know, I had to measure it so that the flaps were equidistant the other each side. And um, this bit it kind of just joins up. So I'm going to put another bit of cardboard this this off cut. I'll put and just reinforce that over there. Uh, void filler and then seal it up and that's ready to go. I keep forgetting to film things before I pack them. Um, this was a Toy Story bucket of soldiers, just a little green soldiers. It wasn't complete, so um, obviously it sold it at a bit of a discount, but it was just taking up room. Um, in the kind of you're never going to get all of them if you've got a part, you know, pot, so that's gone. And also uh, this is just um, a Simpsons Lego Series 2, a Hans Molman. Um, I got a whole load for about 70p each and this is sold for like, oh, I don't know, about four quid or something. Um, next thing I've got to pack is a clarinet. So let me flip around and show you that. Yeah, hopefully it should be fairly simple to pack. Um, this is the first clarinet I've ever sold. Looks very nice. It costs £15. It has sold... For 60 I think if I've made a mistake there I'll put a little comment over but yeah nice looking case don't know anything about them um, some of the listings can be a bit technical but I kept it quite basic so what I'm going to do is I'll just put big bubble wrap around that and find a, a suitable box probably double walled it's going to Ireland on GSP Right, I've used this. It's a single wall box, but it was such a good fit. I just needed to, um, I've split it down the middle and um, get it in focus and, and we'll just overlap it. So there's a bit of um, double walling going on. Um, but like I say, if I've got a box that is a really good fit, I won't ignore it. Um, it's in a case anyway, so um, the actual clarinet is very, very well protected with bubble wrap. Void filler. And this, even though it is single walled, it's um, it's a good single walled. So uh, I think that would be fine to uh, get to Ireland via GSP. So another one down. Right, the next one is um, a bit of a strange sale. One of the strangest sales I've had on eBay. Now, when I first started reselling, almost four years ago now, I went down to the auction house in Tooting. And in my ignorance, I bought two boxes of these, two big boxes of these, I tell you, and I've still got loads of them. It only cost me six quid for them, and I thought, bargain, why isn't anyone else picking these up? And it's because um, the version of the phone that you use in there isn't the latest phone, so I just ended up with loads of these. But then again, they were cheap, so I've been selling these for about 1.99 free post, I think, or you can buy 30 of them for a fiver, so it's sort of a bit sort of like weird, but just to sort of clear them up. I've more than made my money back, but, you know, just the wrong thing to buy. Anyway, one of those has sold to Australia, and the bloke has paid one ninety nine for the item and has paid £20 for the postage. And that's because um, I have uh, postage policies, and one for Australia it's £20, assuming it's a small parcel. Um, but, yeah, that's just a little bit strange. Um, I will send it tracked just in case there's anything, you know, it's a bit of a regret buy or anything. But um, all a bit weird. But um, I'm more than pleased with that. That has also sold. That's an easy bubble wrap in a bubble mailer. And then we've got frustration, which has probably gone for a tenner pre-post. 
and the chase is gone as well. So that that will be cardboard sleeves around those and then brown papered. Um, nice easy job. I had a couple of other sales as well. So let me get these done and then I'll crack on with what has just sold. Right, the next one is this fabulous flip clock, massive thing. Now I'm going to use a banana box. Um, I've got two banana boxes. It's obviously not wide enough, so I'm going to have to sort of somehow cut this and change it so that um, at least it's got maybe a good base. Or I, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this, but um, I will um, make some adjustments and then show you when I'm kind of halfway through it. Um, I will surround this in newspaper and then put big bubble wrap around it to mummify that again to protect it and then I'll use void filler on the outside. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to scratch my head about this banana box. I don't think this is going to work. I've opened it up and I was planning on just getting another one sort of that way but there's not enough clearage here. Um, now I have packed one of these before. I could have sworn I used a banana box. Maybe I used four banana boxes. But I'm just going to see, I know I've got a big box that is double walled, so I might just take that and, and make a make a box from that. Hmm, disappointing. Okay, so I had this massive, massive box. I've no idea what was in it, double walled. I've cut it in half, as you can see here, kind of like uh, lengthways, you would say, and um, <clears throat> ended up with this, which will be... Good enough, I think there's about sort of like maybe an inch or two at the sides. And then um, I'll create a, another one of these with the other half and slide it on top. So in the end, it's going to have like eight layers of cardboard at the sides and a good amount of space here. Like I say, it will be covered in newspaper and uh, bubble wrap, maybe twice. Um, and it will float very nicely in there. I may even put a cardboard, uh, a single wall cardboard sleeve, light cardboard sleeve round uh, once I bubble wrap that. Um, but let me crack on with that and uh, get on to something a little bit easier. Well, this looks a bit crazy. Um, so the clock's in there. Um, it's got a three by three bed of newspaper crunched underneath sheets, so it's nine sheets. Three sheets down here, three sheets down here, nine sheets on the top and three sheets down there. I will Fold up the Bible wrap and hopefully it'll make it nice and snug. And then if there's any more void filler needed in the box, I'll put it in the box and I'll be glad when it's done. There we go, like a big soft cushion. So I'll just stick this in the box and um, see what it looks like. I'm going to pray to the packing gods. Right, there we go. Just needs to be taped up, but the lid is ready in a box. Nice little pillow of clockness very very nice um i do make mistakes uh, the big bubble wrap i cut off uh, not once not twice but it was third time lucky i kept cutting it too short um because i'm an idiot but um yeah that is nicely floated nicely protected eight layers of cardboard walling should be all right to get to germany Onto a bit of Hornby, easier to pack. Nice little buy this. Um, cost me 50 quid at a boot fair. Bought a whole load of it. Um, spent 170 quid in, in one swoop and um, pretty much had to come home after that. But this is sold for 170, so 50 to 170. Um, very collectible at the moment and, and popular due to lockdown. So um, I on the listing, I had just photographed the box, but I've just taken a photograph of the inside of it and I'm, I'm sending it to the buyer. I'll because um, I've sold it as new and it is brand new but I do like to show I will uh, message the buyer and say here's what you're getting um, just to allay any like you've sent me an empty box um, but I've done that on messaging as soon as he bought it I said do you want any extra photos and he didn't respond um, so I'm just going to send him the photos anyway better to have him say oh you've opened the box um, and I say yeah well it's just to prove that I'm not going to get scammed rather than he he claims he's got an empty box. I know he's looking at worst case scenario and it probably won't happen anyway, but always good to uh, sort of cover yourself, especially on £170 sale. Done it again, got carried away and forgot to film it. A um, couple of clothing items. This is a Harlequin's rugby jacket, which has been hanging around for absolutely ages. What I'll do is I'll get pictures of these and talk through how much I paid. This is a kid's Chelsea top. Again, been hanging around for a while. It's all for £7.99. 
Um, but let me get some picks and I'll talk through. Um, I can't remember how much I paid, probably a quid or two. Um, and let me show you how much, uh, what they are and um, how much they sold for. There we go, a couple of easy pieces to finish. It should just be a cardboard sleeve around that, brown papered, and same with this one, cardboard sleeve, brown papered. So get that lot off to the post office before anything else sells. And I have to pack a load more. Um, nice to get it all done. I'm on three day dispatch, so I get a three days, probably take me up to about Wednesday, Thursday now, Sunday today, and I'll probably pop down to post office today to get it out while it's not so busy. It's gonna be I imagine busy the start of next week because of the lockdown coming in. Okay, here it all is. Not very good at filming. Big bag for the Royal Mail. A couple of parcels for Hermes. That is a clock and a clarinet. And uh, this one, I'm going to send that via UPS because uh, it's just around the corner and saves me dragging a load of parcels to Hermes. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you're not. Take care, see you later.